Last time in the adventures of upgrading the Devo Tarantula. I went ahead and I moved the circuit board up so that I could prepare it to install the MOSFET bracket that I had created earlier. After installing the MOSFET bracket, it was time to go ahead and wire it up. So I went ahead and prepared the wiring using spade connectors and then installed the spade, those connectors onto the MOSFET. Then it was time to connect it to the circuit board and that's when I learned about the melted connector. So now for the exciting conclusion to Adventures in Upgrading the TiVo Tarantula. Okay, it feels like it's getting hot. As you can see my soldering iron has seen better days. <laughs> Let's see if it's hot enough to desolder this yet. There we go. It's not the best, but it'll work. So now the next thing I got to do is I got to take these wires and solder those in. So now I mainly want to just put it in place. I want to fire it up and see if everything's working correctly before I start wrapping stuff up here. Let me go ahead and plug in the unit and I make sure everything is clear as far as, yep, everything looks good. No fireworks, so that's a good sign. Okay, so we have a light there. There should be a blue one lights up whenever it's working, so let's take the display. Let's go to prepare. And we're gonna go preheat PLA. Let's just go to the print bed. And there it lit up. So that means that we should have power to the MOSFET. So if I am correct, the right hand side being negative and the the left hand side be, right hand side being negative, right hand side being positive when I touch these, fan turns. There we go. Okay, so I'll turn it back off and I'll hook up the heated bed. Switch power off. There we go. That turned off everything that way. Okay. Now what I'm going to try doing is I'm just going to try using these ferrules in that portion of it, but we'll see here in a moment. I want to get these behind some wires. sure where everything is at here I go behind there yeah <laughs> I see that that's what bugs me those lugs no matter what I do that they do not tighten up tight enough I think what I'm going to do I'm probably going to just solder these wires directly to the board hang it <laughs> in fact let's just go ahead and power the thing off unplug that power supply and let's just do it right Okay, so got that heating back up. I'm just gonna leave that for the moment. I'm not trying to think whether I want to go ahead and solder these first or do it after. Yeah, we can do that after. See if these ferrules will fit behind. Yeah, they seem to be fitting in. That will work. go those are all in place and uh, soldering iron should be hot enough now let's take a look at this board and see I know the connectors are probably going to be the smaller yeah, it's going to be the same as with this one 
It's going to be those little connectors there going through into the circuit board. Yeah, look how that thing just melted. That's that's not good. And I I know people say, oh, well, it's from not being tight enough. I had that screw as tight as I could possibly get it on that wire. And it still did it. And that was with the ferrule on it. I'm going to try to tighten them up one more last time to see if I can get enough of a bite on it. Oh, that feels pretty good. I'll give it one last chance. <laughs> because I'm looking at it. If I do this, I'm going to have to pretty much drill the board in order to get the wires to go all the way through it. Which I really don't feel like taking that chance right now. Okay. <laughs> uh, nope, that's coming off. Hang that. I'm not taking that chance. Okay, so back to my soldering iron. By now it should be heated back up. Yep. There we go. Desoldered. So now, let's see what kind of a mess I'm getting myself into. If I drill those pads out, I'm afraid there's not going to be much left as far as wires go. I might be able to. Oh. Let me see what I can do. Okay. Let me start out by saying, do not do this at home. <laughs> I'm not a trained professional. This is bound to end up bad. Let's give it a shot. Yep. Drill through the contacts on the back. That looks good. That word there, I need to resolder that deeper into the deal. But now I can do it since I got everything ready. <laughs> okay, so first things first, let's take this ground wire. That looks pretty decent. Better than I thought it would. Okay. While well, that's cooling, let's go ahead and move over to the positive wire. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that off. I'm going to restrip it. I think that just worked. Sweet. Okay. That actually worked fairly good, I think. Wire shirt stiffened up a long way, but that's all right. It looks like I lost both of my wires on this part, which is all right. I'll resolder it right now. What I was trying to do is take the one with the larger dashes and use that as the ground because I'm pretty sure that's what it's meant for. I think I just got everything soldered. Forgive me for getting in front of that camera. I keep forgetting. <laughs> that is holding. Those are soldered in nicely it looks like. At the moment, I trust it better than I trust that connector. Let's go ahead and get this board put back onto its offsets. I want to make sure nothing is touching on the back. Everything looks good, and it does. Let's go ahead and plug in 
the MOSFET again. I think we may have it fixed. Get all the dust off the screen over there. <laughs> okay, so let me go ahead and plug it in, see where we're at. See if I release the magic smoke. Well, I saw no magic smoke. I see lights. That's a huge improvement. Now, let's go ahead and preheat. Let's see, prepare. Preheat PLA. Let's go for the whole shot. Okay, so I see the extruder heating up. Print bed just climbed a degree. Print bed's climbing. That's doing the trick. Let's go ahead and give it a few minutes here, let everything preheat, and let's see what it, where we're at in about two or three minutes. Okay, so we're heated up all the way on the extruder, and the print bed is still heating up quite nicely. So far, no magic smoke. Okay, so I just heard the power supply ramp down and print bed is up at temperature. Extruders at the temperature. Let's go ahead and start a print just to see if everything is good. So it's going to be print from SD. Let's just go ahead and do a Marvin. Just the temperature. That's the wrong temperature. That should be set. Yeah, 200 degrees should work. Let's go ahead and load a little bit of filament through. Well, we know that the circuit board's working perfectly fine. It's printing. So I didn't damage anything by drilling out the board. <laughs> that was my biggest worry. So I'm just going to go ahead and call it from here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I sure appreciate it. You can do that by clicking on the link over here. Don't forget to ring the bell too. That way you'll be notified when a video comes out. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon page over here. You can support the channel from there. If you'd like to check out one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to love them. Oh yeah, you're going to like them. Have a great day and take care. Bye.